welcome you back here to halftime. And for John Perez, he is alongside the two college presidents from Brooklyn, Michelle Anderson, and for John J. Carroll Mason. John, take it away. Yeah, we have some luminaries here at the Doghouse, both presidents for both universities, both colleges. We've got President Carol Mason, who is no stranger to the John Jay Athletic Department, and we welcome Madam President Michelle Anderson uh, from so Brooklyn much. College. I believe this is your third game, right, or your first game back, um, seeing Brooklyn on the road. Is that is that I, true? I think that's right. I'm uh, uh, just thrilled to be here. Uh, the teams are both playing fantastic ball tonight, and it's an exciting game. And President Mason, you know, it's the second semester, obviously second semester for both of you, but how excited are both of you to have the students back ready to go for the spring? I'll tell you, it is so exciting, and it's so good to see the crowd out here to cheer our teams on. She couldn't believe the crowd. I was like, yeah, we support our bloodhounds. So I'm excited. I'm happy. I think we're going to have to open up the other side. There's not enough seats for everybody that wants to be here because we're so excited to support our Lady Bloodhounds. We were just talking about it, how these are two great fan bases that always show up. Even you're seeing President Mason, the Brooklyn fans come out, and the John Jay fans that, you know, had the soccer championships, they went all the way over to Brooklyn. What can you guys say about the student bodies and how they support their athletic department? Look, our scholar athletes are some of the most committed students at Brooklyn College. They have a team, and that team mentality transfers over into the classroom. They do very well. They are beloved by their peers, and we're so glad that we have school spirit to come out and support the Bulldogs. It's terrific. And how about the athletic department building the school spirit over here at John Jay? Oh, I mean, I, our athletic department, you know, is second to none. And it's not just about how they play. I love, I met with the women last night, and just the, their leadership skills and how they really have so much pride in what they do and, and watching them grow over the years. I can't believe some of them are seniors now. I remember when they started. So it's just fantastic to see our team just really grow, show leadership, and just be part and build this wonderful community because people come out to see them play and just have fun with them. All right, well, we'll let you guys both get back, but, you know, 10 minutes left before the start of the second half of this one, and you got a men's game. Any bragging rights on the line? Maybe dinner or something for this game? Wait, we, we should have dinner on the say, line. You know you know, our theme is whoever loses, if they lose, they got to sing Who Let the Dogs Out. So <laughs> I'm down for that. I am totally down for that. we got to get you in the locker room, some inspired speech uh, for, for, for the women's right, team. And then. Who let the dogs out? Because the Bloodhounds are going to win. Oh, this is it's a it's a very competitive game tonight. I will say that, and both teams are doing fantastic work. It's a it's it's powerful to see. Well, it was a pleasure to speak to both of you. That's President Carol Mason for John Jay College of Criminal Justice, and President uh, Michelle Williams. Joy, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, John. Yeah, and well, Michelle Anderson. I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. We'll see what goes on. Brooklyn in front by 26, 48 to 22. Back in a few moments here on JohnJayAthletics.com. Sport is our common language. A point is a point. A win is a win. And heart is unmistakable. The City University of New York celebrates this. And our student athletes embody it. In their drive, determination, courage, 